Hey guy, Major Frenchy. Welcome. So over the last couple of uh, videos, I showed you how to connect pretty much everything that I'm going to use in this. So now I'm at actually the stage where I need to start putting my stuff in it. So I'm going to start with the uh, electrical. As you saw in my first video when I was talking about the parts, uh, I got rails and that actually going in the back of this Meanwell power supply and it will actually fit on the rail. So I got three of them. I got 5, 12, and 24 volts. So I've got one installed. A uh, little trick, something, I'm gonna, something new I'm gonna try. So instead of using three computer cord for each power supply, because each power supply has to connect to the wall uh, using the three wires. So what I did is I've got splitters here. So I've got the power cord, which is this one, is actually hooked to a splitter. And I'm going to send basically the output to each one of the power supply that I'm going to have. So it's going to limit the number of cords that I'm gonna run in the cabinet. So the electrical is done. Uh, so what I've actually done is I've got my Meanwell power supply. I've got the 24 volts on the left. I've got 12 volt on the right. And I label them so I know which one's which. And what I did is this is the ground and this is the ground. The two blacks are the ground for each power supply. And I ran them to the central ground terminal block that I've got here. So you can see the two ports here. So any grounds that has to connect on the cab will connect here. So this is the idea. And what I've done is the V plus for each one, which is basically the positive. So we got the 12, the 24 volt positive here which is the purple wire. I ran it through my uh, cable management so you don't see the wires. It's all clean. And it comes across, comes across, and here is where I've got my terminal blocks for the power. So see, so the purple that comes from the 24 volt plus will connect here and every ports here will be a 24 volt port. Same thing for 12 volts. And here I have the addressable LED for the 5 volt. So I got 5 negative and positive and these will actually connect right to my 5 volt power supply, the V plus and the V minus. So that's how I'm gonna do my addressable LEDs. And every 5 volt negative and positive that I need for my addressable LED will come from the top here. So let's remove the plastic cover. And what I'm going to do, if you've never used a multimeter before, uh, there's a function to test the voltage for DC. It'll tell you right here if it's DC. Um, if, if you select AC, this is for the 110, uh, but this is for DC um, that we use in the pinball. So what I'm going to do is the probe, I'm just going to stick right on the ground ports right here. And if you want to test, what you're going to do is you, you just touch the port of the terminal block, and if it's connected properly, you will get a reading of 12 volts because that's our 12 volt power supply. Let's do the same thing for 24 volts. I'm gonna touch here, and we have 24 volts. Now for the addressable LEDs, the five volt negative is not connected to my central ground. This is its own environment because addressable LEDs need to be separated. Instead of touching the central ground, 
I'm simply going to stick the probe in the negative here and I'm going to touch the positive here and we have 5 volts. So here is the basically guys the power distribution within the cabinet. Now if you want to know more about the connections I actually suggest that you uh, review the video series that I've uh, put together. It's how to connect virtual pinball. It's a three-part series one two and three uh, that will actually shine some light on some of the questions you may have. So that's it for now, folks. This is like the electrical. It's actually uh, kind of very important. If you pay close attention, we don't see any wires. That's something I'm really, really working hard to manage because it can easily get out of hands. Now, when you're doing your wiring, take your time. Just do one at a time. Hide the wire properly. Don't wait until the end because trust me, if you wait until the end, it will be too late. Stay tuned folks, uh, the next video I'm going to start putting some solenoids, my thunderclaps. So we're going to place them strategically in the cabinet.